If you've clicked on this video, it's because you're curious. How fast is the fastest shot ever hit in tennis? At what speed can actually a tennis ball travel? Well, the answer is in this video, although there's a dilemma, because some of the fastest serves ever have been recorded at challenger level, and what's the problem with this? Well, the problem is that speedometers at challenger level do tend to screw up more with technical issues, so although the fastest serve ever recorded was at challenger level, it was struck by Sam Groth at a speed of 163 miles per hour. We're not gonna count that for the record. I'm gonna put the clip of the serve, and you guys judge if that's a 163 mile per hour serve. Australiano por três vezes em seis oportunidades contra uma quebra em duas do Glove. Seeing that footage, yes, it's a fast serve, but does it look like the fastest serve ever? I don't think so. And if Sam Groth was the guy to have this record, you would assume that he's been close to that same record in other occasions, but it's not the case. We have seen him serve up to 147 miles per hour, but never ever we've seen him hitting another serve that's even close to 163 miles per hour. But not only challenger speedometers screw up from time to time, check out for example this surf by Del Potro, which is supposedly struck at 149 miles per hour. Better length this time from uh, Dimitrov. Look at that surf. 240 kilometers an hour. Again, that doesn't look very accurate to me, especially considering that Del Potro was serving around 130 miles per hour throughout the whole match. And for example, supposedly Alejandro Davidovich Fokina served at 156 miles per hour last year in Rome, a player that has never even come close to those speeds. So from this list, I'm gonna disqualify serves that either, judging from the footage, don't seem as fast, like for example the Del Potro one, or speeds by servers that never came close to serving at that speed before. So, before starting with the video, make sure you subscribe to enjoy more great tennis videos like this one. That said, let's take a look at the 10 fastest serves in tennis history. Number 10, Greg Rusetsky, 149 miles per hour. This serve was struck in 1998 at Indian Wells, and at the time broke the record for the fastest serve ever recorded. Well, now what's that? Oh, look at it. He's broken the record again. I think it's 149. Terrific serve. Number 9, Taylor Dent, 149 miles per hour. Some of you may remember Taylor Dent, very strong player. I was gonna say with one of the fastest serves in tennis history, but obviously all of the guys in this list have that. I'm pretty sure Taylor Dent holds the record for the fastest serve at Wimbledon, but his fastest serve came at Cincinnati with a 149 mile per hour serve down the middle. Number 8, Jerzy Janovic, 150 miles per hour. This came at the 2012 Paris final. Jerzy Janovic actually had a magical run that tournament, which came to an end in the final against David Ferrer. But in the fourth game, Janovic struck the fastest serve of his career, a serve that received an ovation from the crowd. Number 7, Hubert Hercax, 151 miles per hour. Now, this is one of the two serves in this video that don't have footage of the serve, and in the case of Hercax, I was seriously hesitant about adding him in the video. I've seen him serve at 140 miles per hour in many matches, so I don't think it's impossible for him to strike a serve at 151. The serve was hit at the 2016 Davis Cup, so Hercax was only 19 years old back then. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Do you think this serve was real, or was it the speedometer that screwed up? Let me know what you guys think. Number 6, Marius Kopil, 152 miles per hour. 
I don't have footage of this exact same serve, which was hit in this match against David Goffin, but I have two serves by Coppil that were 1 or 2 miles per hour less. One was the fastest serve in Australian Open history. And the other one was at the 2018 Basel final. You know, when a player starts to break through, you, you kind of look back on their results and you... S look at the power of this serve. That is an absolute rocket. And actually, from all the footage in this video, that has to be one of the most impressive serves. Federer couldn't even react to that. Number 5, Johansson and Lopez. 152 miles per hour. At number 5, I'm going to include both these players because I haven't found footage of both of these serves. I haven't seen that much of Johansson. I am aware that he was one of the best servers of his era. I haven't seen footage from him of a serve that comes close to 152 miles per hour, but I have seen matches of him serving pretty consistently at 140, so I don't think it's impossible that this serve happened. And with Lopez, it's pretty much the same. I have seen him serve consistently at 140, in fact I've seen a serve from him at 144, so I don't think it's impossible for him to serve at 152. It seems difficult but with the right conditions and the perfect strike that might have happened, he supposedly hit the serve at 2014 in Queens in his first round match against Dusan Lajovic. I haven't been able to find footage from that match, so let me know what you guys think. Were both of these serves real or was it the speedometer that just screwed up? Let me know in the comments. Number 4, Andy Roddick, 155 miles per hour. Again, this was another serve that broke the record at the time. Roddick has hit multiple 150 plus mile per hour serves throughout his career. And although this isn't the best footage because of the quality, this is his fastest serve. 15 times when they come out in that first match. <laughs> and look at Roddick with the heat. What does that say? I, I can see it. Is this 155? What is that? Uh, they're just feeling pretty good. He took a little oh, bow. The crowd's appreciating that. You know, that's the 155. Number three, Miller's Raonic. 155 miles per hour. This serve was hit in 2012 at San Jose. The footage only shows his motion and of course the speed of the serve, but look at the sound of the ball. An absolute thunderbolt. Number 2, Ivo Karlovic, 156 miles per hour. This serve was hit at the 2011 Davis Cup, at the doubles match between Croatia and Germany. Again, at the time it was a record breaking serve. The scariest part of it is that it was a body serve. Quite impressive by the opponent to actually have a racket on that. Probably most of us would have been dead after that serve hit us right on the chest. And number one, John Isner, 157 miles per hour. Isner hit the serve at the 2016 Davis Cup in his match against Bernard Tomic, and Tomic had no chance at all to have a racket on this serve. So that would be it for today's video, I hope you guys have enjoyed. It's actually not that easy to make this list, you do have to have knowledge to know what serves do have a chance to be real. If we were to trust the speedometers 100% the list would be completely different. So anyways I hope you guys have enjoyed, if that's the case make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you would like to enjoy more great tennis videos like this one, it truly helps with the channel a lot. This said I hope I see you guys in my next video, peace!